Let's say it together. Huge, Huge voltage. Huge. How big is your voltage? But it's actually not that big. It, oh. It's only 7.4 volts, and this is going to give us 1,100 ounces. But it's a direct 7.4, But if, not? if we went, it's, no, it's through the receiver. This one is directly through the... Well, the word directly still in there. So still huge, huge, huge ounces voltage. of torque. Huge ounces of torque. Welcome back, huge everybody. This, Welcome back to the table. This is going to be our waterproof... NSDRC RS1 mm. steering servo. Anywhere from 5, vol five volts to 8.4 volts. This is not a direct. Um, you know, this is the one they sent me. It's a nice case. Which has less ounces of torque by mm. almost half. Ooh. Yes. Half but, is nice? But if one doesn't fit, the other will just in case. So let's go ahead okay. and play Roll it. button brought to you by the play button okay so my favorite piece this mm. new piece of steering innovation look at this pause it thank you what did it just say a moment ago in I the blue screen i'm going to be so gentle look at that that is going to slide back and forth there so please ensure your servo is 25 tooth with no interference on the mountings some brands have positive tolerance gears requiring a tight press to fit so this is the delicious uh steering piece that we're looking at here you hold the camera i'll have to get this out thank you and then look at this this is a mechanized steering assembly so it's a direct assemble for the servo in the back there is a bearing on either side and then there is a gear right here that helps this move back and forth spline on my servo is 25 tooth and then servo right goes in wait a second look at this it doesn't line up somehow and i don't see an adjustment for it what the okay what the does it not line up properly we'll sound it opening up this is really weird that i'm not able to adjust the servo area like I can't slide that in and out at all to adjust for a servo size hmm. all right let's see if this is built different almost identical aha uh -huh. look at this so the servo horns or the servo splines are actually offset differently so the power HD is going to fit whereas the NSD RC is not going to fit Am I correct? Correct. Look at that. So there is no swapping out that particular servo. Very interesting. And I have to push that in. That's going to be, I know, I know. Mm -hmm. There you go. That, that worked works. great. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So that's a very interesting thing mm -hmm. right there. So we're going to lose ounces of torque, mm -hmm. but at the same time, maybe it's not rated to have that many ounces of torque. Sorry, NSDRC, you know I love your servos, but the offset was just a little bit different. So we're going to go with the uh, Power HD servo. So I'm going to put in those four screws off to the side right here, out of the pee bag. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right, so the M3 six mils gets popped in. One, two, three, four, and then one right in the center. Okay. And then where's that dropping into? Do you guys love this CAD assembly drawing or what? Like, oh, is this easier nice. than, than looking at a book in some ways? Okay, let's go ahead and look at that. Our bag screw, just one of those. It's going to be a 12 mil yeah, to get that locked in here. Huh. It's very <laughs> interesting to see that servos have different offsets for mm -hmm. their spline assembly. May I? Oh, please, by all means. I'd much rather see your hands on camera anyway. Oh, nice. I love these. Nice and smooth. Yeah. Hey? All the way in, hey? Mm -hmm. uh, all the way in tight and then a, a one eighth of a turn. Okay. Yep. I did that. There we go. There you go. Nice and there you go. Jeez, what's with all the shadow today, right, guys? Yeah, I think it's just backlighting. It's, it's, it's because it's so dark and snowy. Oh, well, it's finally just give us a little bit of reprieve there. Eh. That's all right. 
I think it still looks good. Yeah. It's a dark it's a day, mid-February. How do you get through those cloudy Late days? Late February. All right, so that is there. Yeah. Well, you do you do a hobby, my dear. Isn't that right? <laughs> That's true. You yeah, get, I play to find out the get next through day. It. Yeah. Which screws are we using yeah. to get that assembled in there? I go, you got it in there. Thanks to everybody that commented uh, right. in the last video. We almost got up to 200 comments. That was pretty cool. We read them all. Uh, the okay, so pee bag again, and then we're going to assemble it uh, to the uh, the steering arm here. Guys, if you m didn't notice at the end of the last video, I had corrected this uh, lower suspension arm mistake we had made. Yeah. I know some people had actually pointed it out, um, but we had actually fixed it in the exact same video you pointed it out in. All right, so let's see if I can get this in there. It's going to, there we go. Now it's nested. Like it sit in there so nice. Again, I'm not using thread lock right now because I never mm -hmm. use thread lock when I first assemble it because I make mistakes like the one I had just mentioned. Also, have a look at this little rubber O-ring right here. This little rubber O-ring was around the constant velocity drive right here holding a pin in and that actually needed to be cut out. And I had forgotten in the last build video, if you're building with me, note right along the inside here. I know, let me mm -hmm. get that light in for you there. Perfect. Right, right in here. And so I just used a little uh, knife, cut that out on both sides because it's going to create resistance there otherwise. That is in the instructions. I just, one of those things I missed. And we'll take the bumper. You mean this one? Why don't you go ahead and unbag it, lovely. Mm. There we go. So is that metal? Yes, uh, yes ma'am. it is, but it is... Uh, you can put a yeah. fair lead right on it for a winch. Sick, 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 sick. So that goes okay, underneath. Uh, yeah, it goes mm -hmm. underneath. Like this? Uh, underneath like that, yeah, because these are inset right here. Okay. And so then we're probably going to need bag uh, H with two of those screws. Okay, and that goes into the side down. Go oh, two on the side. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we just need two of those yeah. and then two bag A's. Okay, okay so bag A, I will be your assistant. Oh, man, thank you. Oh, my pleasure. I'll take a time to screw right now. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yep, you are an expert at screwing. I'll give you that much. Well, thank you. Thank you. So that bit is actually in the end of the driver there. I bet you you can do it by hand. I bet you I can. I remember when I used to look at the screen without glasses and I could see what was on oh, there. Oh, <laughs> those were magical days, weren't they? <laughs> just, gonna, just gonna put my glasses. Oh, wow, it's so much clearer. <laughs> I can see. Back in my it's day. It's like watching a baby see. My eyeballs baby. worked. <laughs> Back in my day. Oh, man. So we're gonna get them tight and then give them a 1 8 turn right here, my love. And yep. right here. Yep, I'm just making sure this 1 8 one. turn. There you go. arm up front with a metal plate. Is it this one right here? Yeah, that one right in the middle there. It's in the ground. I don't know. There. This one looks... Yeah, it is that one. It yeah, looks longer. Look it looks longer in the picture. Go mm -hmm. ahead and pull that for me, will you? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's just... That one looks longer and skinnier. So is it the bevel on the outside? It bevel is. On the out, yeah. Bevel on the outside. And that's not it. That's, that's, that is it? That's, that is it. Yeah, bigger up top. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. That is it. Looks like you need four of these guys. <laughs> okay. I believe you. Okay, then we're going to have a bag N, which are very tiny screws. Very tiny. Plop that on there. Then we're going to have this X skid plate, which looks silver to me. Aha! Yeah, underneath this guy. Beauty. So we get to pop it out of there. Yeah. Those are so nicely detailed and cut out. With precision. Yeah. She is awesome. Like a little wind. Do it again. All right, let's pop it out of its mold, here, or okay. not out of its uh, holding of its position. Yeah. And then we're going to give it a gentle bend. Gentle bend. Gentle bend. And then I will be molding it right here so you can see that this will be the protection area and it's got those mm -hmm. screw holes right there. So bag F, my dear, yep. they are button heads They're or little, little round babies. screws. Yeah. And you're gonna need this gal to detach you. Four of them. 
The Queen. Helping me build the Queen. <laughs> they said they want a rigorous testing of this outside. How come everybody okay. always wants me to break my stuff? Well, because they don't want to break their stuff. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, I expect yeah, a rigorous um, testing, and I, I expect to see a durability run, yep. and if it breaks, you should fix it. You're going to be super mad about that. <laughs> yes, tell me what a piece of crap it is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, granted, yeah. some of the, my capos over the years, like the Ace One and stuff, I found to be a little bit more fragile just because mm -hmm. of the hard body. But the JK Max was actually yeah, and still that, is yeah. an amazing vehicle. And this longevity one, wise, it's right here. And the reason I can tell is because oh one goodness. side yeah. is has that inset here on either side, and it looks like it also has an area for some E clips. So I'm going to go ahead e and just. Not it. Eclipse, not it. Yeah. Boom. Boom. That's this beautiful. is where it should go here. Yeah. Okay. Then we have these two tubes down here. T28 is mm -hmm. the number. Let's go ahead and just pop these out. One. Two. Perfect. Supposedly, these are supposed to go. Ah! That's why I'm not a surgeon. Well, I'd imagine you'd have somebody holding your stuff for you. Right. Yeah. Boom. Okay, so that's what the instructions show so far. Okay, perfect. What are we going to attach onto the end? It looks like some sort of beautiful... Why is it colored blue? It's right there. I see it's on that big... Oh, it is blue. That's yeah. why. Durr, durr. Why is it blue? Because <laughs> they painted it blue? Because they're, they're blue. Wait, there's no hole in the end. This one is supposed to have a hole on the end. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. oh, pull those out. Mm -hmm. Aha, so I almost got fooled, but by looking at the drawing, even though they're incredibly similar, there's hole no the hole on the end, and this one has one. Thank you. Yeah. Very important, and it's a different size, longer. Oh, I'll return the other two. So choice. Oh my God. I don't do Eclipse. <clears throat> Well, I have an E-clip tool, <laughs> is and it, is it on here? And it's just out in the shop. Oh, that's a car. And well, it's snowing, you know. It's raining too. <coughs> go get the E-clip tool. Here you go, go get it. <laughs> he still didn't get it. Yeah, but because he's very stubborn. We all know the words that need to be said when the E-clip goes on. It's okay. Okay, that yeah, one is on. Yep. Yeah. This one. Yeah, E-clip. We have a we here. have a real chance. <laughs> Of doing it. I think it's going to work. I think it's going to happen. A real chance. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't just lick it to make it stay in place because that would be gross. <laughs> we all do it. <laughs> all right. And Did I don't think, I think I got it. No way. That's awesome. Good okay. Woo Woo. Nice. Woo. Got it. So here it is. Uh, I will loosen off that screw a little bit, but generally speaking, that's going to be fine. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'll loosen it up this here. One? Okay. Yeah. All right, so this I'm always bummed out for when I have to build uh, uh, rods because this can be a real pain in the fingers. But you know, when I look inside here, <laughs> I love editing. <laughs> and they're done. Okay, so one, two. May I take this tray out of the way? Yeah. Clean your fingernails. A uh, working man has you dirty did. nails. True, true. Uh, okay, okay, so Palais, I imagine it's going to be going into the end here. Yeah, got those, uh -huh. check. Bushings go on the inside, zippity doo da day. Great, and then, we go. which screw will we be looking for? Which screw will we be looking Screwing. for? Screwing, okay, so it goes into the top suspension arm, which is great, goes in right there. Okay, and then what we get What a neat, J. neat setup. So bag J. Okay, Bag J is Big gonna be J. for bo bottom. Slide it into place. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Something went wrong. It feels like I actually hit the bushing. I did. I I hit the bushing and went right through the top of the bushing, grinding it out mm -hmm. a little bit. 
So let's have a look at that. So if you guys build along with me, you can avoid this. I didn't quite have it lined up, and if I would have just used a hand driver instead of the drill, I would have felt the resistance. But I do have extra ones of these, so let's go ahead and try that again. Okay, well, let's make the same mistake twice. You gotta be screwing the right way though. Mm. That feels better, and I'm not over tightening it, so it does have that ability to move around. And then what was it? It was bag I on top, so the I didn't that. Yeah, the I is the short one. Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, and so then we're going to turn the turnbuckle. We'll adjust the measurements later on, and then with that there, we will be extra Security. careful and line it up. Yep. No resistance, and just snug. Repeat to the other side. Repeat to the other side. Just checking it out to make sure everything is moving and no binding. <laughs> Neat. Okay, and then we secure it to the bottom. You did that part to, yeah, Go you did ahead, that part yeah. already. So this is our next step up. And then truly one of the first plastic pieces I've seen here, which is right here, and I think it's going to be holding the name, and I think it's mm -hmm. a nameplate, so let's go ahead and put that in. -na 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 -na. Beauty. Yeah. I so we'll, cl clips. we'll clip yeah, that right out. Here. Perfect. And then we can just easily sand off the sides with some emery paper. And then our screws are going to be in bag N, and it looks like we're taking two of those just to put it across the front like this. And then we can go ahead and take the nameplate mm -hmm. itself. Are we gluing it? It looks like it might just snap in. Seated Very in cool. Okay. Oh my god. And then we get to put the light bar in. The light bar in. This is <laughs> the coolest build ever. Well, let's go with, dang it, just for frig. This Do you one, have to let's, choose? let's let's use capo racing. You know why? Because capo rocks. So let's go. True. Let's do it. So then I will get out the little brackets for the El Lito. And let's get lit. <laughs> let's get lit. Where is the light bar? It is right here, 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 here is the light bar. See my fingers? Got it. Okay. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get it screwed in first. And those little tiny brackets is what we need up to. I've already got them oh right my here. Gosh. Yeah. Okay, I have to say that sliding this, like when I pushed it in there, it seated so nicely in every one of these holes. Those pins, like, it Meant just seated properly. Like, yes. <laughs> I, I know that sounds dumb, but no, it's just it nice. No, it doesn't. It's nice when it's it works. It's just nice to have something line up and yes. fit. Yes. And have a kit that is working so a far. A kit that fits is awesome. Yes. So then we have bag H. Yeah, right? I already With pulled out your screws pieces. that you've got just staged there for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, if this was a big rattling vehicle, Loctite, 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 mm -hmm. thread lock, thread lock, thread lock. But there is such a thing as too much thread lock. A dab will do you. A dab will do. A dab will do. Nice dry fit. There we go. And what were the screws that were supposed to go on on the inside? Uh, this is bag H. Bag H again. Bag H. Bag H. Got it. Then we're going to use four of these. And you know what? That is going to make a complete front end assembly. Mm -hmm. Are we putting a winch on this one later? Uh, there's always a winch going on. Winch, 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 winch all day. All right. All four screws are done. Mm -hmm. And then we've got this beautiful oh, front end, uh, the whole steering combination, the sway bars on the side, right? Oh, like the front skull. Nice torsion yeah. there. We got the light ready to go. We got the bumper mounted up. We have everything greased, redone, the shifting cable is done, mm -hmm. now the lighting cable is done, and as we proceed in the video, my friends, what do we have left? These two screws and nada! So, mm -hmm. as a gift to you, front axle for <laughs> you beautiful. to enjoy. Ah. It's beautiful. More to come, make sure you're subscribed. What an amazing piece what of kit. What an amazing piece of machinery. <laughs>